Meet Lucia. Lucia is part of the platform team at a large company. Her team is responsible for provisioning and maintaining cloud infrastructure and tooling for over a thousand software engineers. One day, the machine learning team wants to start working on a new tool chain and asks Lucia for a Kubernetes cluster. No big deal. Lucia spins up a cluster and hands it over to the engineers. As time goes on, more applications are designed to run on Kubernetes, so more and more engineers start asking Lucia for clusters for their CI pipelines, for development and testing, for demos and workshops with their end users. Wow, this is getting out of hand. Should Lucia really spin up a cluster for each team or even more? One ephemeral cluster for each pull request? That would be hundreds of clusters per day. While scouring the web for a solution, Lucia discovers vCluster, a tool to create virtual, lightweight Kubernetes clusters, which makes dealing with multi-tenancy much easier. vCluster creates fully functional Kubernetes clusters that can run inside a single namespace of another cluster. vCluster is a certified Kubernetes distribution, so the virtual clusters behave exactly the same way as any other Kubernetes cluster. Lucia downloads the vCluster CLI and starts experimenting spinning up virtual clusters on her local minikube, and then later in a remote Amazon EKS cluster. Incredible. This was exactly what she and the platform team needed. Lucia is now only running a couple of large clusters with a few shared services she needs to maintain, like an ingress controller. For everything else, she creates virtual clusters and hands those to the engineering teams. Inside the virtual clusters, Engineers have full admin privileges and can do anything autonomously and independently of the platform team. But they're still restricted to the virtual cluster with no access to the underlying host cluster. That's amazing. And using vCluster has additional benefits. Virtual clusters are much cheaper than the real clusters. Engineers can deploy cluster-wide resources like CRDs or RBAC. Virtual clusters can be spun up and torn down within seconds. vCluster can run on any Kubernetes platform, including local clusters, vendor-managed clusters, as well as on-prem clusters, or really any certified Kubernetes distribution. And the best part? vCluster is completely free and open source. Head to GitHub to learn more or get started today at vCluster.com.